Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy. Happy Prime Day. It is uh, that time of year again. This is actually day two of Prime Day. My apologies for not getting the video out bright and early yesterday, but I was still a bit busy recovering from Boardsy Fest on the weekend. But you don't care about that. You care about the Prime Day deals that are mainly going to be focused on gaming, mice, and keyboards. And uh, yeah, if you just search up Gaming Mouse, you're going to be met with garbage. There's lots of it. Like, I scrolled through this already, and I was shocked. I, they have these little, like, questions. I want to see what they think about lighter mice being better for gaming they, they say it is better okay but yeah these are really not the mice that you're going to want to care about these are not fucking deals i wonder how many parents are buying this for their kids but yeah i figure why not start out with the uh, kind of big ticket stuff the 150 dollar ish mice that have gone on sale we have the viper v2 pro down to 133 and a renewed one down to 110 with a 10 percent coupon the renewed one, if you're somebody who wants to like mod a mouse, like has some project that you just need a PCB for, or you plan to use a mod kit, I would say a renewed one at this price is a really good deal. Uh, but the new one at 130, you know, that just doesn't move me. Like it's not really that cheap. I think the Death Adder V3 Pro is on the same sale, and that's a little better because that one um, is less often on sale. So if you're looking to pick one up, it's probably the best price it's going to be at for a while. Um, I mean, I guess same goes with the Viper VG Pro. I'm just not as big a fan of the shape. And uh, now this is one of the best deals I've actually seen. The Steel Series Apex Pro 2023 version. It is wired, but who gives a fuck about wireless keyboards? Like. I just don't even understand why that's a thing. Um, but yeah, the wired one is down to $130 for a keyboard of this performance. It's a really good deal. Like, it's a potentially end game keyboard and it's the newer version. So, yeah, no reason not to. I think the 60% version is at the same price. Those were honestly the only keyboard deals I bothered to look at. Um, there might be some other good ones. Uh, but yeah, if you clicked on this video for keyboards, get fucked. Um, Asus ROG Harp Ace. This one, the price it launched at was just completely egregious, honestly. So, being being at $86, that's a lot more reasonable, but this mouse is not without flaws. It just doesn't feel like a high quality product in hand. Like, yeah, they got the click latency to an extremely low number, but the clicks themselves feel like shit. Side buttons aren't good. Coding isn't good. The shape is large. The scroll wheel positioning is weird. Like, this mouse is just full of flaws. Another deal is the Endgame Gear XM1R. This actually wasn't a thing yesterday, so this is a lightning deal. It's down to $35 for the Dark Reflex version. I think the other ones are under $50. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to pick up a wired xm1 they're at a really good price the logitech g502x um there's obviously different versions i think the rgb version like isn't on that good of a deal wow it's six percent off fucking big of logitech oh and a ten dollar coupon um but yeah the non-rgb version is down to 110 so if you're like a normal person you don't need rgb on your g502 this is the new version at 110 which i would say is a pretty good price like it really was not a garbage mouse when i used it Another deal is the Fantec Aria XD7. This is not the newer version, I don't think. Yeah, it has Kill 8.0s instead of Juanos. Uh, but yeah, $63 for this. Um, it's hard to complain about, especially shipped from Amazon. I don't know how I forgot to check the Superlight, but it is on a pretty good sale. It's very rarely at under $130 in the US. So if you are somebody who is maybe a few years late to the party, still has never picked up a Superlight, now is a good time to. Uh, but this still is just not a incredible, like ridiculous, you can't miss deal if it was at $90 I would say it probably is uh, but yeah super light is at a good price I think I saw the g703 was like 65 bucks um, HyperX Pulsefire haste 2 down to 70 that's actually a price that I really like um, for the wireless version the rocket cone pro air and the burst pro air are both like piss cheap they're practically begging you guys to buy these mice this is a really good wireless ergo for $50 like I'm not even not gonna lie <laughs> Okay, never mind. I guess I was wrong about the Burst Pro Air. Glorious mice are also on sale. I saw the Model O2, the newer one, was like $80. Um, just don't buy Glorious mice, honestly. Like, I saw they have some new, like, 4K, 8K Hertz stuff coming out. Obviously, check that out. Um, but their current stuff, even at the deals. Like, also, why the fuck is the list price $116? That's actually, like... That's very suspicious to me. Um, G Pro Wireless, the normal one for $88, $5 coupon. Avoid that mouse like the plague. Like, this Prime Day, it feels kind of weak. And that's not in my best interest to say as a guy who's making a Prime Day video. Like, it really just does not feel like there are tons of great mouse deals this year. Like, there are a lot of things at decent prices. If you're in the market for a mouse, you'll be able to find something good at a good price. Um, but wow, there's not, there's not like the deal that I just want to grab. And yeah, that's going to be about all for this video. I did not want to waste too much time covering like mass produced garbage from companies like SteelSeries, Corsair, and companies of that like that have massively outdated stuff. 
marked down. It's like, who cares about that stuff, really? So I just wanted to cover some newer stuff. Um, lots of more niche enthusiast type brands did not do anything for Prime Day, which I feel like is, um, it kind of makes sense, but it's also unfortunate at the same time because there aren't many great deals. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you copped anything, let me know what it is. If you saw any deals I didn't cover, obviously let me know what those were. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all. Links in the description. Like and sub if you enjoyed this video and peace.